or good morning a good day wherever you are in the world thank you for joining us today my name is Sarah and you're with keep it kind today as it says on the thumbnail we're going to be showing you how we make our hand and body lotion so our hand and body lotion is in these little 30 ml bottles so and I just want to show you we've just come up with some new labels and I am absolutely thrilled with these labels and how they come out they're printed on clear vinyl and yeah I'm very very happy with these but we're going to be making our hand and body lotion today and this is fragrance with diamonds which has got a floral and oriental scent to it it smells fantastic but I just want to show you just how well this body cream or body lotion works so I'm just going to apply just a small amount onto the top of my hand there. I'm just going to work that in over onto both hands. And it is doing absolutely wonders on my nails. I don't know if you can pick that up on the camera, but yeah, it's absolutely fantastic for my nails. It's doing a grand job. So without further ado, let's get on to making this hand and body lotion. So we've just made sure that we're switched on our oven to melt down our oils. So we, what we need to do is we need to have a double boiler. So what you have is a saucepan full of water with a little base layer of water on the bottom and then you place a, a metal cylinder, a metal jug or a metal bowl on top so that you can put your oils and your butters so that they can melt down naturally without going directly onto the source of heat. So we've switched on what we call our bain marie. So that's over there and while that's heating up, we can get onto weighing out all the rest of our ingredients. So first off, what we need to do is weigh out our emulsifying wax. So for this recipe, it calls for 10 grams. There we go, that's our 10 grams of our emulsifying wax. And to that, our steric acid. So we need 10 grams of our steric acid. I'm just going to reset the scales back to zero, just because I don't want any calculations to be messed up so we need 10 grams and we're just going to take this over to our bain marie or our double boiler and we're going to melt these down down our emulsifying wax and our steric acid it's time to weigh out our butters and our oils this ingredient this recipe sorry calls for 30 grams of our shea butter so we get our shea butter from the soapery very reliable source i get all my oils and butters from the soapery so we need 30 grams of that shea butter and then we need our apricot kernel oil so I'm just going to reset the scales back to zero once again. And we need 65 grams of our apricot kernel oil. And what we need to do is we need to, the apricot kernel oil is a liquid, but the shea butter is a solid butter. So we need to melt down our shea butter with our apricot kernel oil. And we're just going to pop that into the microwave on 10 second or 15 second bursts until the shea butter melts down to a liquid form. Now that we've melted down our shea butter with our apricot kernel oil, it's time to weigh out our water. So we are using distilled water today. And we need 130 grams. I went slightly over I just used a little pipette and I just took out the extra water that I put in so we've got the 130 grams in here and I'm just going to take you over over to the cooker I'm just going to place that down there and this is our steric acid and our emulsifying wax that we made melted down earlier and that's going to go directly into our water that we've just measured out and just make sure you scrape everything out of your bowl. So because I added the steric acid alongside the emulsifying wax into cold water, it started to solidify. So what I should have done was bad mistake. I should have heated up the water first so that everything didn't get solid. So as you can see, I'm just warming that back through in, in the bain-marie, in the bucket of the 
bowl of hot water and I'm just resting the other jug on top just to melt down everything and then we can go ahead and mix up with our blender. So now that that's all been blended in together, as you can see, you, you've got like a milky consistency. It's gone from being uh, transparent white to the, uh, to the creaminess that you can see in there. But we've got a few bubbles on top, so I'm just going to let those bubbles just relax and seep out of the mixture that we've got there so that we're working with a clear surface. So I don't want any frothiness in this cream. So we're just going to let this settle down just for five minutes and then we'll go ahead and add the rest of our ingredients to this mixture. Now that this has gone to a consistency that I'm happy with, I'm just going to take the temperature just to see how hot this is. And at the moment it's sitting at 109 degrees. So, and then I'm going to do the same with my oils and that's sitting at 104 degrees. So I want them roughly around the same so I'm just going to bring them down just slightly, just going to let them cool down just slightly to, so that they're both sitting at 100 and then, then I can mix the two together and then we can add the rest of the ingredients. As you can see it's not frothy and it's starting to solidify just a little bit. I'm just going to take the temperature once again, so it's still too hot at the moment. The oils have gone down to 101, they are now at 100. So I'm just waiting on the hot water and the emulsifying wax and the, the um, stearic acid to come down to 100 degrees and then I can go ahead. Now that everything has cooled down, I'm just gonna retake the temperature just to make sure that I'm at a happy range. That's sitting at 95 and that's sitting at 94. So I'm absolutely happy to go ahead and mix these two together. And all we need to do is just pour the shea butter and the apricot kernel oil directly into the emulsifying wax, the steric acid and the water. Make sure that we scrape everything out of the bowl because you don't want to miss any of this goodness that comes from these oils and these butters. So I love working with shea butter. It's one of my favorite oils. And apricot kernel oil as a light oil is the oils that I tend to lean towards more than any other oils. You can switch this up if you want to use a jojoba oil or if you want to use a sweet almond oil or a castor oil. Just any other light oil will do, but for today we are using shea butter and apricot kernel oil. So all that has all been scraped out and I'm happy to go ahead and add the rest of our ingredients. Which are, we are going to be adding our vitamin E oil. So I always use our vitamin E oil in our hand lotions. So I'm just gonna make sure I reset the scales back to zero. And we need eight grams of our pure vitamin E oil. That's eight grams. There we go, that's our eight grams. I'm just gonna take that off of the scales for the moment because I need to next weigh out my fragrance oil. So please make sure you check the in-fridge percentage of your supplier of how much you can use within your recipe so I'm using our diamond fragrance oil which I get from the soapery no I don't get it from the soapery sorry I get it from candle supplies <laughs> I get my oils and my butters from the soapery so I get my fragrance oils from candle supplies supplies for candles and I know exactly how much I can use for this but I'm not going to tell you how much I use because I do want you to check out with your own provider of how much you should be using I got a little bit of a spillage, but because it's on the scales, I can pour that directly in. Everything has been sanitized, so I'm happy to go ahead. And any spillages, I can pour directly in. So there is our fragrance oil. That's going in with the rest of our other ingredients. And now we're at that stage, we can go ahead and use our blender again to combine everything together. And then we will be adding, because this has got water in this recipe, we are going to be adding our preservative, but we don't do that until the very last minute. And I'll need this to come down to below 50 degrees. So that is the safe usage rate that I can add our preservative, preservative into. Sorry, beg your pardon. So I'm just going to go ahead and give all these a blend through. 
so now that everything has been incorporated all of our ingredients are now mixed up they've all been emulsified which just means that they've all been mixed up thoroughly and everything has been incorporated into this recipe i now have to just check the, the temperature so i am below the recommend well not below the recommended but i am at the recommended temperature of what they say that i can use my preservative as so i'm just going to add my preservative to this ingredients because we added water we do have to make sure that we add a preservative so my recipe for today counts for one gram so it's not a lot but it does go a long way so i'm just going to reset my scales back to zero so and i'm just going to add my preservative into this mixture there we go that is our one gram gone in there and I can now take that off of the scales. I don't need the scales anymore, so I'm just gonna move those out of my way. And I'm just gonna thoroughly mix this through with my spatula, the preservative. Just give that a great mix through, just so that we've got that incorporated throughout the entire batch. You can use your whisk again if you'd like to. But I like to make sure that I'm checking the consistency with the back of my spatula so that there's no grains or anything that I can feel. And I just want to, I need to say something. I did make a little bit of a boo-boo. I did tell you that we needed eight grams of vitamin E. I was doubling up my, that recipe. So you only need four grams of your, um, vitamin E oil so for this recipe that I've given you today it's four grams not the eight grams that I said I do apologize I made a mistake but I am correcting it and letting you know before you go ahead and make the same mistake as I did so what I needed to do is I needed to double up all of my other ingredients just to counteract that so that I didn't lose the entire batch so now that I'm happy with that, that consistency is absolutely fantastic and it's just what I'm looking for. As you can see, it's not runny, it's not too thick, it's just the right consistency that I like our cream lotion to be at. So I can go ahead and pop everything into my piping bag. I, the bottles that I did, the bottles that I do get come with a little funnel, but it takes too long for it to go through the whole of that funnel there. So it's just easier for me to put all of my mixture into a piping bag and do it that way. But I'm gonna go ahead and get this mixture into my piping bag and get everything into my lab, get everything into my bottles, and then I can put on my labels and it's good to go. is we've got all our lotions inside our jars so I, all I was doing was just tapping down any of the air to make sure that the bottles are completely filled up I'm very happy with the way that this has gone today all that's left for me to do is just give everything a good clean over so that then we can apply our labels so I'm just I've got some rubbing alcohol here so I'm just going to add all our caps to our bottles give everything a good thorough clean down with our rubbing alcohol because our labels won't stick to the jars otherwise because there could be some oils so yeah all, all i'm basically doing is just 
giving everything a good old wipe down with some isopropyl alcohol or rubbing alcohol and just making sure that all our surface areas are clean on the bottle so that the label stick to it well. So I'm going to go ahead and finish off capping these, cleaning them and I will bring you back once they're all labelled. There they are. We've managed to get 10 bottles out of that recipe that I've just provided you with today. So. I hope that you're happy with the way that this has come out. I certainly am. If you have any questions that you need answered, then please leave us a comment. Me or Glenn will get back to you as soon as we can. Don't forget to also switch on that notification so that you don't miss any of our future vlogs coming up. And please, if you happen to like the, the channel and like what we've brought to you today, please give it a huge thumbs up. And last for me to say is don't forget to switch on that subscription. So please make sure you subscribe to the channel. All that's left for me to say is take care. God bless, and I'm out of here. Bye.